<laughs> Hi everybody, this is Tony from Sax Studios, and I know I just put out a tutorial yesterday on the Battlefield text, but I've got another quick one here for you today that's showing off a new feature in uh, Photoshop CS6 uh, that I think a lot of people will find very helpful. Now, um, you can do this in CS5 and previous versions with plugins, but this is built right into CS6, so uh, this is just showing off a new feature. Don't worry, I'll still be doing tutorials that people can use CS5, CS4 to do like I did yesterday uh, with the Battlefield text. That can be done with just about any of the versions, but this one is a quick one that uh, I think you're going to really like, and what it is is an oil painting conversion. And it's really quick and easy to do. So let me go ahead and show you. So we're going to go ahead and open up our source picture. You can do that with Control O or go to File and Open. And I'm going to pick a model that I have selected here. Now, I recommend you use a very high resolution picture. It'll turn out better. Uh, that being said, you can do this with you know a normal resolution picture. But if you have the option, I would go with the higher resolution photo. So... What we're going to do now that we've got our normal standard base photo, uh, we're just going to duplicate that. Um, you pretty much, when you're doing this kind of thing, you want to duplicate. So you can right click and choose duplicate or hit control J. Either way, totally up to you. All right, so now we've got our background copy and we're going to have that selected. And let's go up to filter and let's choose oil paint. As you see, there's no shortcut for that, so there's no hotkey. So, oil paint. Now, I've kind of worked out some of the settings for this already uh, to make it look the best. It will vary for certain pictures, but this is a pretty good base to start from. So, your stylization you want to set to 8.96, your cleanliness to around 3.5, your scale to about 8.96, your bristle detail to about 2.2. Then down on the lighting side, your angular direction needs to be about 244 to 245, somewhere in between, and your shine needs to be set to zero. And when you go ahead and do that, now you start to see a softness in the picture. The rough edges around the hair that was there before and the sharpness in the eyes are gone. You can see it's more of an anime eye type and it's actually starting to look like an oil painting. Now we can actually take it one step further and duplicate this layer that we just worked with. And let's go ahead and bring the fill down to about 80%, roughly 80%. Um, and you may want to play with it depending on your picture, no problem. All right, so now we brought the fill down, we want to add a high pass filter to it. So let's go to filter, go down to other, high pass and 194.6 seems to work quite well go ahead and choose OK and as you can see it it kind of darkens it around certain areas um, takes away a lot of the shine that it wouldn't be visible in an oil painting but as you can see it gives a very good desired effect and if you turn these off you see what it goes back to so you can really see a difference just in that second layer turning it on and off and then adding that third layer really makes the difference. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial on using the oil paint feature in Photoshop CS6. There's going to be plenty more to come. Follow us on Twitter at under, psych underscore studios or on Facebook at facebook.com slash psych studios. So thanks for dropping by. Please rate and comment. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll be glad to get to you. Thanks for stopping by and take care.